Boy, you messed up my intro. Barrett, you think the flood waters have receded? I'm sure they did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, uh, sometimes what happens is all the water that's running off will come in behind uh, the original flood waters. But I, th mm. I think you're probably right. We're going to check on the uh, bees to make sure they're okay and make sure there's not like a horde of ants in there from the sugar because we had some warm days. So I, I need to learn a little more about ants, entomology. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I thought they went into like hibernating, hibernation for the whole uh, winter. Winter. I thought, I guess they're like bees. If it's warm, they'll come out. Yeah. I really didn't want to put that bunch of sugar in there with the ants all running around. But we'll see. We're gonna go find out. Find out. Barrett, let me pull up here and see if you can see. I'm always like looking right here. Over the hill. We're in the clear. I see gravel. Yep, I do too. I don't have to stand in poop water this time. Nah, <laughs> that was crazy. The cows are up on the hill. What's up with that? They don't want to be in that soppy, muddy. Oh, yeah. That means we'll have to drive, probably drive back. We'll have to see if it's too soft. Drive in. I wonder if he came down and he probably came down with the skid steer and dumped all that stuff over the fence. Because hmm. remember, it was up against it was on this side of the fence, wasn't it? Mm. But anyway, the water has gone down. You can see back over to the pond where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's what, 45 degrees? So not much activity here. I saw one or two bees come out. Well, Barrett, we didn't lose as much of our gravel as I thought. Come and hook the... Oh, wait. Let me unlatch this. Okay, good. I don't see any ants. That's what I was afraid of. I'm not sure I want to open up the hive too much. Um, that was on roly polies. Huh. Get them out of there. Super quiet, aren't they? Where anything? <laughs> There's one. He said, "Well, they're all balled up in there." There's one. There was a couple of bees in the feeder. I don't think I'm going to put any more in there until I see more of it gone. Can you see them, Barrett? Fortunately, there's none on that. Let's take this out. Frame. There won't be any on the frames. They're going to be all balled up in the middle. I got the Surefire Titan on my. Let's just buy this back. Now. Oh, hey, it's gonna hurt to take that one board off. Here. <laughs> okay, good. I just wanted to check, make sure they're all in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Good. Slide that back. Plenty of food, huh? Still? Yeah, they got plenty of sugar in there. Close it back up, good. Cows are starting to get bored. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure there wasn't a horde of ants in the feed. Now, what I think I'm going to do, we bought some foam. I'm going to take a piece of foam. If we can get digging out of the truck. <laughs> are they leaving? I think we had some new cows and they thought we were getting ready to feed them. So, Barrett, this foam 
needs to fit inside the lid when we close it. Oh, huh, insulation, huh? Yeah, so what I'm going to do, take out my little cold steel keychain knife. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm going to mark it. I want to leave a little airspace. Like, I don't want, to, I want there to be, you know, a space for it to ventilate. Yeah. So we'll see how that works. I think I can eyeball it. But you still want it to be big enough to wear. Oh, it doesn't have to fit tight, does it? Because we'll it's just sitting on top. We'll scribe it. What are you doing, you sir? Step, you stepped on my foot. Well, give me some room, boy. I gotta work. <laughs> Hold that still. There you go. Where's my other mark? Yeah, I want it to be a little bit small. But it's going to be hard to close the door with this being tight. Well, we could have, I guess we could have put it actually up there. Yeah, I was thinking we were going to like drop it or whatever. Anyway, it's not, this ain't rocket science. <laughs> so, that should just break as you describe it. Yeah, like that. And I got another piece. If we can find it in the truck, that'll just, uh, and I bought this at Home Depot, so. You see that, they're, they're balled up right here, right? Mm-hmm. So this will give them a little, uh, a little ventilation. You don't want it to sweat. You don't want it to condensate in there. Then what I think I'll do is just cut this. He's, he's getting interested. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna, look at I, him. I'll catch you up for lunch. What's he doing? He's looking at us. It's freaking me out. Money ain't against the law. <laughs> ain't against the law. <laughs> <laughs> now just so this little piece doesn't go to waste. And in case we can't get the other piece out of the truck. I'm just gonna take this. And see how I put it in there, Barrett? Yeah. Like that, up kind of high. Huh. That'll. That should help keep them warm. What I would like to do next time, I'm gonna get a bigger piece, and we're gonna put it on top of this board and push it up against the bottom. I just didn't want to disturb them too much this time. I'd like to pick a day when it's like 60 degrees to do it. Perfection. <laughs> Me against you, bull. I think he's gonna win. I think it's bad I got red hair. Thank goodness it's more orange than red. I was gonna do a time-lapse video, but... <laughs> There ain't, there's not much to. Is that a dead bee? Look here, Barrett. Is he dead? Is he dead. Is he dead. Yeah, my... Pretty brave to put your finger in there, but. Well, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. Yeah, he was dead. They were probably in the process of moving him out whenever we came up. Anyway, we know they're in there and they're balled up. That's good. So Barrett, they look pretty good to me. Cozy. They look cozy in there and they should be cozier with that insulation. I was watching this guy. Um, I'm not going to mention his name. He seems like a nice guy, but you know how you'll, you, when you subscribe to somebody, sometimes their videos come up on the home page, mm -hmm. like the old ones. I saw two videos of his that came up, and one of them was, he had a whole hive full. I mean, if you want to see hive beetles, man. Oh, man. Uh, go look at the hive beetle uh, larva videos. They're, it's nasty. Right? The whole hive was full of them. And then the next one I watched was a, um, oh, he said his top bar hive starved to death. And I was thinking, dude, <laughs> do you ever check on your bees? 
I mean, do people really? How could how could you? And he said, "Well, it was you know." In the video, he mentioned that they didn't make it through the winter. Well, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna you're gonna expose the reason I put that insulation on top is because they, uh, a top bar hive is a little more exposed to the weather than a typical hive because uh, you know typical hive is closer to the ground and wind can't whip around it as much and um, it's more compact and that's why I have that division board in there nice and tight and they're all there's only what six or seven frames in there mm -hmm. so they're all kind of um, combined um, compressed uh, for now and the spring will open it back up but I was just amazed honestly I'd be too embarrassed I mean if our if our hive doesn't make it through the winter it won't be because we didn't try Heck no. right I mean I just don't get that when it's so easy, you see how easy it is to pour sugar in a feeder, a, a, a high feeder like that, and just stick it in there as a frame. What? How hard is that? I don't, I don't get that. And it, sugar's pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. And you can see our bees had what five or six frames of honey going mm -hmm. in. They have hardly even touched it because, you know, we started. When did we start feeding? In September. I guess so. Pretty early. And I know that honey, people ask me why I didn't harvest any of the honey, it's because it's basically sugar, <laughs> sugar water honey. It's not nectar honey. When you feed them sugar water for you know three months before winter, and they have five or six frames of honey, that most likely came from what you fed them. So you let them eat that all winter, and then you'd stop feeding them in the spring, they go out and get nectar, then in the summer you can harvest, mm. you know, midsummer, whatever, harvest real honey. Well, I guess it's real honey, but it's uh, it's not gonna have a, the same flavor as whatever your local flavor would be, huh. you know, from whatever plants they get it from. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting. <clears throat> and he was almost, it was really strange because I guess I wouldn't have mentioned it if he hadn't been kind of giggling during the... He was like, yeah, this is kind of funny. I was like, really? You definitely care a lot more than I'm, I'm, a lot of people. I'm not, I'm I'm not sure saying that. that. I'm just surprised. I was surprised no, at the... I know. The, <laughs> I was surprised at the flippancy. Oh, well, I lost a hive. You know, blah, blah, blah. Like you don't like to even kill one, you know what I, I mean? I guess if they have... I guess if they have 10 hives, you know, maybe it's different, you mm -hmm. know. But... I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have more hives than I could take care of. I mean, this is what I wanted. This was my point too. And people will say, "Oh well, you shouldn't have to take care of them." Well, you you took the bees out of the wild, okay? <laughs> Be, bees aren't meant to be held hostage by humans. <laughs> you took them out of the wild, and once you took them out of nature, it is your responsibility to look after them. Yeah. Hmm. It, you can't just take take a, take a beehive out of nature, and then then just you know put it in a box and expect it <laughs> expect not to have to take care of it. You know if it gets high beetles, you got to do do battle with them like me and Barrett did. Do if battle. they get ants, you got to freaking battle the ants. You know you got to go to battle for the bees. You know. So I hear you, Dad. Anyway, now we're trying to help them through the winter. Yeah. Thankfully, the ants have gone into hibernation. I think there's enough frost enough frosty nights already to, to convince them to go into hibernation <laughs> stupid ants anyway uh just a few comments here at the end thanks everybody for watching and we'll check on them again in about a week <laughs>